the, the, the TARP concept seemed crazy to me in the first place just because it always struck me that the whole point was to overpay because that's how you'd recapitalize and make them whole again and everything would work. So it's not, you know, like they say in software, it's not a bug, it's a feature. That's the, you know, <laughs> that's the point. So why, why is it seem like we're going in this direction? Is it, is it, is it ideological? Is it the, you know, what, so why are we doing this? I, I totally agree with everything you're saying and I know how much you know about this. So this is, I guess, less an economic question as a political economic question. Why does it seem like we're going in this direction, which seems to be the wrong direction? Well, I think there, there, there are two uh, reasons. Um, one has to do with a, a misdiagnosis of the problem. Uh, what they recognize is that one of the reasons that the banks aren't lending is that they have huge uncertainties on their balance sheet mm -hmm. and that they need to resolve those uncertainties. Uh, the banks uh, would like to believe that it's just a matter of confidence. The fact is they went in the midst of a bubble mm -hmm. and there are real losses right. and a lot of self-deception going on. So uh, the uh, Wall Street has the view that fair pricing would give them a lot of money mm -hmm. and the uncertainty would solve the problem. Right. Now, the misdiagnosis is A, they made bad lending and there's a big hole. And it's not just a matter of confidence. It's a matter of reality. So fundamentally in denial about their insolvency. They're fundamentally in denial about their insolvency. And secondly, their misdiagnosis is having capital is necessary but not sufficient condition for relend, starting to relend mm -hmm. because there are fundamental uncertainties going forward. And all of this is a backward-looking approach, not a forward-looking approach, mm -hmm. and therefore is not going to solve our country's problems. Now, the political economy is in some sense simpler to analyze. You ask the question, who is at the table? Mm -hmm. It's the people who created the problem in the first place. Right. Whose voices are we listening to? The people who created the problem. I said that to the first approximation, this is a zero sum. Mm -hmm. If it's zero sum, it's very understandable. The financial sector wants to get as much for itself as it can. Right. Now, it's going to try to make an argument that this is not zero sum, it's positive sum, everybody gains. So far, what they have shown very clearly is a negative sum. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That what we have done is not only not led to more lending, there's no positive sum, evidence of positive sum. It's not only that we are, our taxpayers are getting a national debt increasing and they're the net beneficiaries, mm -hmm. but the 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 inability to renegotiate the mortgages is I think directly related to these government programs. Mm -hmm. So it's a negative sum. So unfortunately the way we've been intervening has actually uh, been not constructive 